Hi everybody, Paper Crafting with Ros here. I just want to show you quickly a birthday card that I've been making. So this is the envelope that I've made for it. Um, it's a little bit, um, the card's a little bit thick to go in a normal envelope. And this is an idea that I've seen quite a few people making. And I actually followed the tutorial from Jan B Cards here on YouTube and this is for a gentleman um, who is going to be a hundred um, near the end of the month and um, I thought that I'd make a card it's um, it's a client at work so uh, we thought we'd make him a card and um, he apparently loves guard uh, gardening. He's still quite active, and uh, which is lovely to hear, isn't it? So I'd got this paper pad, um, which is called Gardenia, and it's a first edition paper pad. I did gift one of these as in the first prize of my uh, recent giveaway, and it's beautiful because it is all paper themed, and for a gentleman as well. You know, it was really um, appropriate. So this is what I've made. So we've got the four panels here. So I've done two panels with these um, watering cans. And then two panels with uh, tools for gardening. You've got a, an axe. There's all sorts. There's a wheelbarrow. There's a hoe. There's one of the old-fashioned lawn mowers. And then I did this panel with the watering cans and then again out of the same pad I did this flowery paper this is like a pearlized paper and another one there I've popped a, a little bird there as if it's sitting on the fence and then I've put some little flower stickers I may have to glue those down because sometimes these stickers just do not stick do they I find that a lot on a lot of my post <clears throat> I put stickers on, a, um, as you know, I put a lot of stickers on my post and um, more often than not they start appearing off before they even get to the post box or the post office. Anyway, I've got these wooden frames in my stash. These were from the works and I cut it down because it was a little bit uh, too wide and um, so I just decorated it a little bit. I was trying to find some... Uh, ladybird stickers that were small enough but the ones that I've got were too big so it would have been all out of proportion I mean really the birds probably out of proportion but you know so as you can see I've put a hundred on the front so this is coordinating cardstock with my layering cardstock um, I did do it in gold to start with but it just didn't pop like the green does then on here I've got a wooden embellishment, happy birthday, which I've put some uh, stickles on, some crystal stickles. And as I say, on here I've um, put a, a wooden fence. And then on the back I've just layered this up um, so that it can be signed on. And I'm going to put one of my stickers, which I'll do well, on here. The lovely dawn printed for me. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my camera. Um, the lovely dawn printed these for me because I've just not got the hang of my cookie yet, which I do intend to do at some point. So this is my handmade by Ros Brook paper crafting with Ros. So I'm just going to put that on there. So there we go, so again that's the card, it's one of these WV cards and um, I'm really happy with that, it's really nice and chunky and stable, quite stable and stands up beautifully. So uh, yeah, so that's the card I've made and um, I hope the gentleman likes it. So thank you ever so much everybody for uh, watching this quick video as you can see I've got the scraps from making the card so 
I'm going to use these up to make some uh, backgrounds um, that I've done before. You just put the, like this, a bit like that, that kind of thing. And uh, I'm just going to use that up to make some backgrounds. Um, some of them are probably big enough to do as backgrounds for ATCs and things as well. So, um, yeah, I've got some scraps to use up, so I thought I'd keep those out and I can sit and have a play with those. So, yes, sorry again. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.